Neural strategies include massage and hydrotherapy. Neural strategies help the nervous system recover from high levels of work. Um, these systems fatigue due to the change in chemicals such as lactic acid found in the muscles following heavy bouts of exercise or due to psychological reasons. Specific strategies can assist with recovery of the neural pathways and improve subsequent performances. So hydrotherapy really is just the use of water uh, to assist recovery. And if you imagine being in a pool, water is a weightless environment. So automatically, if you get yourself into a pool, you're not going to experience the high impact uh, on the joints uh, and muscles and bones as you would if you were not in the water. So there are many physiological effects change in cardio, cardiac response, um, changes in blood flow, um, arising from changes in hydrostatic pressure. This just means the pressure that the water applies to the body uh, can change the way the blood flows. It can actually lead to vasoconstriction, for example. Skin, muscle and core temperature tends to fall, particularly if you're in a cold water, or it can increase if you're in a hot water environment. So hot water immersion and contrast therapy are two examples. And of course the weightless environment allows movement without pressure on the joints. Now contrast water immersion basically just means placing the body in a really cold environment like a, like a ice tub and then staying in there for a period of time and then moving into a contrasting uh, temperature such as a, a hotter environment or a hotter bath. And what this does is it changes the way the blood flows throughout the body. So vasoconstriction when the athlete's in the ice bath and vasodilation when the athlete is in the hotter environment. And as you can see, it narrows and widens the blood vessels, which changes the blood flow. And it can help to remove waste uh, and deliver nutrients to areas of the body that need it most. And the athlete can feel refreshed and alert. Even temperature immersion basically means that an athlete will stay in one temperature for a particular period of time. Uh, and all this does is it allows the athlete to stay in the weightless environment, uh, but the movement in the water uh, can allow the body to remove, obviously, lactates and other waste products. And basically, can if it's a cold environment, it can reduce inflammation. If it's a warmer environment, it can increase blood flow. Massage assists in reducing training fatigue, and it's a great way to reduce muscle tension uh, that can sometimes um, be as a result of overuse injury. There are many benefits of massage, including improved mood, feelings of well-being and relaxation, waste removal and increased uh, nutrient and oxygen supply, and many, many more. Uh, but one of the things that it can do really well is increase blood flow to uh, an area of concern, which can then increase flexibility, uh, range of motion, muscle elasticity, which can then reduce the risk of further injury. But if you remember back to sports medicine and the no harm acronym, which means no heat, alcohol, running, or massage in the first 72 hours. So massage is a great recovery strategy, but really should not be used too early after recovery, particularly if the athlete is really sore and has a lot of inflammation, because massage will actually increase that inflammation. A few different types of massage, such as Swedish massage, trigger point massage, and deep tissue massage are used by athletes 